the sun's beating down on the river cottage veg garden and my seedlings are starting to fly. Last year's spinach patch has seen me through the winter. It'll soon be bolting and going to seed, but I reckon I can get one last pick off it. The reason it lasts so well is that it's a cut and come again variety. Perpetual spinach. Just pick the leaves you need and it keeps on growing. When I'm dealing with young baby spinach, the stalks are really tender and they can easily be cooked up with the leaves. But when I'm sorting out this hoary old stuff, I strip the tender leaves away from the stalks and the coarse stalks are a little treat for the piggies. Everyone knows that spinach is good for you, but for me, cream spinach is also the ultimate veg comfort food, the green equivalent of a mug of hot cocoa and a slice of cake. First, make a simple milky bechamel. My milk is just infusing with a couple of bay leaves and a couple of slices of onion, just to give it a savoury edge. The milk is strained and butter goes into the pan. Flour is stirred with the melted butter to make a roux, which is gently cooked. The strained hot milk goes back in and the bechamel thickens up nicely. The spinach is clean but still wet and the droplets of water on it are more than enough to steam it through in the pan. Any more than a few minutes and it starts to lose its texture and goodness. Now, I just want to squeeze as much of the water out of this spinach as I possibly can because the less watery it is, the more spinachy it is. But I want it to be as spinachy as possible. A little grated nutmeg and you have what for me is the ultimate cream spinach. Mmm. I'm ready for anything now.